What's up guys, Jayesh here from How To Tech. In this video, I'll show you guys how to insert table in Microsoft Excel. So first step is open an Excel sheet, then go inside the insert tab and click on table. If you want to reach over here, the shortcut for that is control T. And then what you have to do is just select the starting cell and the last cell. In my case, I want to make a row or sorry, a table of something like this which is having 15 rows and 5 columns as you can see over here once you select your table rows and column if you want a header just tick on my table as header and then click on ok now this will make a table now if you want to reduce the number of rows or increase the number of rows just come to the top, bottom right over your mouse over here and just drag it down to increase the number of rows or uh, drag it up to decrease the number of rows drag it on the left reduce the number of columns and the similar way drag it to the right to increase the number of columns now if you want to change the way your table looks come inside uh, the design tab and from here click on this arrow and there are a whole lot of pre-made uh, templates to choose from i like to choose this green option now to give name to your columns just click on the cell where you want to type and just start giving the names let's say it's serial number this is name this is uh, let's say this is sale something like that and uh, similar way you can add content over here as well let's say serial number one this is two then click on the cell and on the bottom right select on the this uh, little rectangle if you hover your mouse over it the plus sign will come then just click and drag your mouse below click on the autofill option click on fill series then enter name and all these things you can add the way you normally do and then uh, to align the text as you can see it's on the right if you want to align it just uh, select the entire column and then select the alignment from here which is in the home tab and you can align your cell like this let's say you want to increase the width of each row then just go to the row which you want to increase the length and uh, just increase the length this way let's say i want to increase the length of this 12 row select the 12 row come on the bottom uh, line and just drag it below let's say you want each of the rows to have the same width then select all the rows and then just give size to one row and all the rest of the rows will become of the same size same thing you can do with column as well uh, now let's select the entire table and uh, just make a border around it to do that select the entire table and now in the font section you'll see the border the bottom border function click on the little arrow and from here there are a lot of border options to choose from i like to choose the thick border options on all sides this gives it a thick option or border on the all side again select the entire table then go inside the border options and then select all borders and it will give border to all the cells the main benefit of making a table is you can sort out uh, your details as you can see if i click on this arrow I can sort my table from smallest to largest, largest to smallest. Now it is sorted from smallest to largest, 1 to 11. Now let me sort it to largest to smallest. Now it's 11 to 1. If you're making a sales sheet, uh, then it would be easy for you to find out who is doing maximum sales or which product is giving maximum sales if you use table section. Now let's say in the sales tab we are having a data in uh, rupees or something or euros, whichever currency you want now to do that just select the entire column and from the number section click on the currency that you want in my case i'll select the rupees section and as you can see the text has come into the rupees another way of doing it is just select the entire column right click click on format cells then click on uh, accounting then select the currency which you want and from the decimal spaces places select zero or you can again go into currency select the decimal place zero select the symbol and click on ok 
as you can say the after decimal the two zeros have been removed now apart from these obviously there are many functions associated with table but uh, i think this is more than enough for an average user if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up if you are new here then please consider subscribing if you want to know more about excel learn more about excel like basic functions then i have made a separate video you will find the link in the description and also at the end of this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thank you for watching see you in the next video bye